Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I am back again to making videos now that everything for me has been fixed. So what better way to start off with my new set of videos than starting in an entirely new program. And I am back at it again with a niche problem that not a lot of you asked for but maybe not a lot of you know you needed to solve. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to fix neck holes or even just holes in general in Blender. Disclaimer, I am not saying this is the only way, I'm not saying this is the best way, I am saying this is one of the many ways that you can choose to solve this issue, and I'm also saying that this is a way that I am currently using, and as you know, I like to take you guys along in my creation journey and give you every single tick and tip and trick that I find, so to, I may it help you in the future. So the basis here we have are Ellie by Essay and Rindo by Jingo. I will be leaving both of those down in the description below, both their respective Discord and shop. So if you want to go support those creators, that would be absolutely fantastic. So let's say that we have attached our head onto our base in Blender. Now this means that the base is attached and the neck is already white painted to the head. I'm not teaching you how to weight paint, I'm only teaching you how to solve the whole aspect in a quick and simple way. So if we come here and I go into pose mode and ignore the mess of bones that I've got going on here, we are going to click the head bone and we are going to tilt it up and this is exactly what I mean right here. You can now see that when I've done this, there is a massive gaping hole in the neck. If I'm in VR and I am looking up, I want nobody to see the inside of my head. That is really awkward. And personally, I wouldn't want that on my model regardless. I'd want things to feel a lot more natural, especially if I'm moving around. I don't just have a ghost head. So how do we fix that? Now, there's two different things that I'm going to teach you. With your meshes separated, meaning if I click this here, your meshes are separated. Now, I also know there are a lot of tips and tricks for what I'm about to show you, but this is the way that I've learned how to do it, so bear with me. So now that your meshes are separated and not together, we are going to learn the first method. If your meshes are together, meaning you can't click on either of these separately, fast forward in the video, or, you know, I guess you could follow along this way, it's not much of a difference. So my meshes are separated and in order to fix this issue, I'm going to click on the body and press H, meaning that in this hierarchy in the upper right hand corner, my body is hidden. Quick hotkey. Then I'm going to press my head and I am going to press tab, which is going to allow me to enter into edit mode. I'm going to zoom in to a point where I can see the hole in the head right here. I can see the entire round circle right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the alt key and press on the edge right here, the edge of any part of the circle with the left mouse button. Meaning that while I'm holding alt and while I'm clicking, it's going to highlight the entire circle around this entire hole right here. Meaning every last one of these has been selected and nothing on the inside has been selected. It is just this. And to fix this, it is as simple as pressing the F key and it is going to fill in that hole for you. Easy way to remember it is F for fill. I am then gonna come back into my hierarchy in the upper right hand corner, click the eyeball beside whatever mesh I've hidden, then press tab to exit out of edit mode. I'm going to go back into pose mode using the cats plugin for Blender, and I'm going to move my head to look up. If you do not know what the cats plugin for Blender is, I highly recommend you Google cats plugin Blender VR chat. It is a simple VR chat Blender script that is going to help you a lot through your creation journey. But for the sake of this video, and since I'm not teaching how to install that, I'm going to assume you have it installed. There are plenty of tutorials out there to teach you how to do so. So if I look here and I hide my armature right here, you can clearly see that that neck hole is covered, it is fixed, it is beautiful, and I no longer have to worry about that. Now the alternative method, which I obviously know there are a lot of better ways to do what I'm about to teach you, but it is the one way I do know how to do this. So let's say we're going to do this, we're going to select these two meshes, and let's say my meshes are joined together. You can still do this if the meshes are joined together. Again, we are going to zoom in to a point where I can see the inside. I'm going to press tab to enter into edit mode, and I'm going to look. Oh, there is, find the vertices right here. So here I can see that gap, all right? 
I'm looking at many, many angles, and I can see this is where the head gap is. I can see that this is what is leading up into the head. So I'm going to hold down Alt and not open that. I'm going to hold down Alt, and I'm going to press one of these edges right here. And as I can see, if I'm going around the entire head, what that has done, it has selected every single one of these edges all around. And then I'm going to press F to fill. And it has successfully filled in that hole. And that hole is no longer there. It has simply been filled. Press tab to exit out again. Start pose mode. We are going to lift our head all the way back up. And we'll take a glimpse. Voila. Wasn't that amazing? It's a simple, quick fix to a solution that a lot of people have. Again, it is not the best and only way to do it, but it is definitely a way that is simple and easy to learn for beginners, for people who are even just looking for a quick solution to this problem. So I genuinely hope this helped, and I hope you have a fantastic day.